Hi, I'm Rich from Colorado Paratech, makers of Ghost Light and Ghost Light 2 IR and IR UV illuminators. Um, today I'm working on something a little different and I want to give you a first look at it. It's called the E Probe. It's an electrical field uh, detector. Um, you all know that when you use EMF meters, you're picking up just magnetic waves. So you don't really pick up the electrical side of an EMF with a standard um, EMF detector. Now, tri-field meters are different, of course. But uh, anyway, I came up with this gizmo, kind of inspired by the E-Prod, which uh, detected electrical fields, more geared towards static. One of the things I had a problem with with those is, one, they can't be handheld, and two, they detect from a distance, so you don't really know, you can't really always pinpoint where this electrical field is at the time. So what I've developed is a thing called the E-Probe. Uh, this is it right here. It has several features. Uh, on off switch. You turn it on. Generally you let it warm up for a little bit. Uh, about five seconds. And let it normalize. Now the nice thing about these is they can be handheld and they can be stationary. They also have a sensitivity adjustment on the side here. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Another nice feature is it can run with a alert light only, no sound, so it doesn't disturb your EVP sessions, or you can run sound and light, and that way it will notify you in case you're not looking at the unit when it goes off. Okay, now let's uh, delve a little more into it and see what it does. First off, it has a tele... I usually when I start these, I start with the minimum sensitivity rolled all the way up. It has a telescoping antenna, and as you can see, when it's touched, when it detects an electrical field, even as minute as what is in a common human body, it will alert. Now we can set it and show you exactly how the light port works. So that's just light, no sound. Or you can switch it to light and sound. Now the light's not quite as bright when it's in sound mode, but it doesn't need to be. Okay, now this the probe can use the antenna extended or down, it doesn't really matter. Now the nice thing about this is you can actually adjust the sensitivity. I'm going to run the probe down just for video purposes here. Now you can actually adjust the sensitivity. Whoops, there's one of my lights. Okay, so when you set the sensitivity all the way up and then roll it back until it just barely stops. And what that does is it gives you maximum sensitivity and will usually allow you to pick up things as they without even actually touching the probe. Now if you can see that or not. you don't actually even have to touch the probe to set it off. Okay, but you have to be fairly close. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it's not going to pick up stray things from across the room, down the hall, far away. It picks up right in the immediate area, whatever's touching it or within about an inch of it. So, now again, you can use this handheld uh, and you can roll the sensitivity off because usually it's going to have to adjust the sensitivity when you're holding it. But again, back it up a bit. And notice it's usually more sensitive when you're hand holding it. See, I don't even have to touch the thing, and it goes off. Or you can make it less sensitive and require it to be touched to set off the alarm. Now, the other thing is uh, if this is set too sensitive and it's in a stationary mode, we've run into this a couple times. If it's too sensitive, what happens is when, once it's triggered, it tends to stay on. And so you have to roll the sensitivity back off. Generally, when it does this, sometimes you have to turn it off and reset it to get it to stop doing that. It does not make any electronic field of its own. It doesn't make any EMS. So I've got a cell sensor here, which is like the ghost meter. Uh, or ghost, uh, yeah, ghost meter. Uh, anyway, as you can see, there's absolutely no EMS coming off this thing. Okay, so so now well, all you're picking up is electrical fields. Um, now what you can do, let me see if I can pan up to this. I have a light up here. Now um, you have to get fairly close to an electrical source, make it go off. In fact, my sensitivity's down so far. I'll be right up. Okay. Now it will pick up 
the electric electricity in the light, the electric field coming off of the power transformer for the light. But you have to be right on it. So you don't have to worry about a lamp across the room setting this thing off. Because it won't do it. Basically something has to touch it. Or pass over it. Um, now, uh, let's see, I think we've shown all the features also. It operates off of one 9 volt battery. As you can see. And we run these for actually several investigations without ever changing the battery. So it will run forever almost. Uh, without changing batteries. Um, not forever obviously, but it will run a long time without changing batteries. The other thing is there is a low battery indicator, so when the battery gets too low to operate correctly, um, there is a constant tone, sounds kind of like a bee buzzing, that will just constantly buzz, and that tells you your battery is low and needs to be replaced. Also it has an on LED, so you can see if it's on or not. So that's it. That's the first look. Um, I'm going to have some uh, films posted from our Pure Paranormal Investigations. Uh, we use these quite a bit. We'll have some uh, film from our investigations of the e-probes in action, and I'll post those as soon as I get them. But I wanted to give you an all an idea of, the, of what this thing is and what it possibly can do. Something new. Something new from Colorado Paratech. So you can visit us online at coparatech.com or uh, at pureparanormal.com. And uh, always welcome to for comments and suggestions. Uh, if you want to contact us, feel free. And if you're interested or have any questions, look us up on the web again, coparatech.com or pureparanormal.com. And uh, there you go, the first look at the e-probe. Uh, let us know what you think. And thanks for watching.